Triops. I used to find them very interesting as a kid, but I didn't know they could get this big. This is all things creepy. Let's begin. So, this video was actually sent to me by one of my viewers, Predator Slayer. Now, if you also have a suggestion, check the description, go to my Twitter and send me it there because that way it's easier to shout you out, I don't have to search for all my comments and sometimes YouTube deletes the comments for no reason. Back to the video. Now this video shows a triop, one of the very prehistoric species, practically a living fossil. They lay eggs in this very dry, humid conditions. The eggs last possibly hundreds of years and then as soon as it rains, they hatch out, they eat mud and dirt on the floor and then when it starts to get drier, the cycle repeats itself. And they've managed to stay alive for hundreds of millions of years through this method. Pretty successful little species. So this dude, I'll leave his channel in the description, says that he can make them grow to gigantic sizes. So what he does here is he hatches them out, gets them to their maximum size, puts them in this kind of tube, and it's actually an electrolysis chamber. So electrolysis, basically you hook it up to some electromagnets and it ionizes whatever is inside the container. Now this is pretty funny, he, he sort of boils a banana peel, I guess to get the potassium out, and then he puts that liquid into there, supposedly getting potassium-40, potassium ions, which I guess are radioactive. I wasn't very good at chemistry, but I kind of get what he's doing here, but I don't think it's an official method of getting potassium to boil a banana. That doesn't seem like a very efficient way to do it. I doubt it would be that pure. I guess that a lot of this is probably just scientific mumbo jumbo so that the average viewer watches it, sees that he's talking in technical terms and assumes that he knows what he's talking about. And may be wrong. Let's continue to watch. So after this process is complete, he puts it in a bathtub, this small creature, and after some time lapses, it's shown that it gets huge, pretty much to the size of a small dog, which, as I'm sure you're aware, their maximum size is nothing compared to that. Now, he doesn't claim this is magic, so he's already getting points there, but the science he uses behind it is a bit sketchy. Apparently, the radioactive potassium solution unlocks triassic growth genes making the triops become huge, I guess, something that was useful in the Triassic period. And the result is this. I couldn't find any articles about Triassic growth genes, so I don't think it's something that's commonly known in science. Unless this guy is revolutionary, I think it's probably fake. And just from an observational standpoint, let's take a look at this footage. Now, is it just me, or does that water seem extremely still? the giant creature is moving pretty quickly in there and even if it was very hollow and low density just the sheer diameter of it would cause disturbance on the water surface moving at that speed. You can even sort of see the edge of it clipping on the water line there which leads me to believe that he put a small one in and then he just zoomed it in with an HD camera so you can't really see the pixelation difference and he just threw that into the normal size bathtub and there you go. Clever editing, fooled a lot of people clearly, look at the likes and dislikes, but I don't think this is real, I'm not buying it. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, like the video if you did, share it with a friend, and of course if you haven't already, subscribe for more creepy content.